today I went on a walk and it's honestly been a minute since I've gone on just like a leisurely walk because I've been so busy. And when I was on my walk, I was thinking about vacation and how when I'm on vacation, I have this feeling of being on vacation and feeling very leisurely. And I was like, honestly, I just want to feel like that because lately I've been just a little bit wound up and stressed and so busy in a good way, but also in a way where I wasn't handling it the right way. And as I was walking, I was allowing myself to feel what it feels like to be on vacation, to feel the leisureliness and to feel the calmness of letting everything go. And I realized, and this is something that I've come to a conclusion in the past, but it really hit me today that I just want to feel like I'm on vacation. I just want to feel that sense of peace and calm. And I want to be busy doing the things that I love, but I want to be doing them in a way that feels really good and leisurely and effortless. And I think sometimes I create stress in my life because it's exciting or or it's like, oh, I'm busy, so obviously I'm supposed to be stressed. There's like this weird logic in our heads about it. And I've noted my, noticed myself coming to that conclusion of like, oh, I'm busy. I'm supposed to be a little bit stressed. But the thing is, is busyness doesn't equate to stress. It doesn't equate to having a clouded mind. Busyness is the things that you're working on, the things that you're doing. But you can do all of them while feeling calm and feeling happy. And so I was on a walk and I was like, just this realization came to me and I came home and I was like, I need to film a video about this. And so I just wanted to film a really organic video talking about what it means to live like you're on vacation and how you can feel leisurely and calm and happy even when you're busy in your life. On vacation, we aren't stressed because we leave everything mentally behind. When we get on a plane, when we go in our car, even if we just go on a vacation very close to us, we're doing so with the intention of leaving whatever is coming in the next couple of days behind. We live every moment very presently when we're on vacation and we let ourselves truly enjoy the moment because we're like, this is what I worked up to. So being on vacation is something that feels really good to us. But the thing is, if you can figure out how to feel like you're on vacation with the things that you're doing and feel like you're on vacation with the free time that you give yourself, life becomes that enjoyable, relaxing experience. So if we made those decisions in our own personal life to mentally leave things behind or to mentally let things be in their place and then live outside of that, imagine what that would be like. Imagine what it would be like to leave your stress behind and just fully surrender to the present moment. I feel like the first step that comes into my mind when it comes to feeling relaxed in your day-to-day -day life is creating a good balance between your work and your life. This means not only creating a physical separation of your work, even if you work from home, creating a separation of like, this is the time slot that I'm working, this is the time slot that I'm not working, but also in addition to that, in the time slot when you're not working, not letting your mind think about work, not letting yourself cycle through all the things that went through your head at work, really creating that mental division of work and life. But it's not only about creating that separation of work and life in your mind, it's also about in those moments when you are working, doing so in a way that feels good and doesn't feel stressed. Even if you're busy, even if there are stressful things going on at work, letting yourself deal with them and be with them in a very detached way, knowing that your self-worth and your value of life is not dependent on how the business that you work at is doing or any mistake that you have at work, letting all of that feel very surface level because it is, and then deriving your sense of peace from within you. A way that you can practice this at work is just by simply for five minutes taking a second to do nothing, pay attention to your breath, allow yourself to calm down, and just allow yourself to really be there and feel your worth outside of work. Feel the way that you feel when you're not working. Feel that way at work. Let yourself feel that positive feeling. And throughout the day, giving yourself those 
little tiny breaks of five minutes, you will find that you'll feel calmer and happier as you do it throughout the week, as you do it throughout the month. You'll find that you start to have a different relationship with working because you're constantly reaffirming your self-worth and reaffirming your center of balance within you. It's like taking your power back into your hands. Even if you have a job that you don't love, you don't mind going there because you live for yourself. Another thing that comes to my mind when I think about living a relaxed and peaceful life is to take your time with things. And this doesn't mean to forget about time completely and not get things done, but learning the lesson that you can take your time with things. If you have the time to give yourself mental space and really pay attention to what you're doing, life becomes really amazing because we have this inner dialogue in our head that's always focused on the future and is always talking to itself and thinking about the future, the future, the future, and we never have moments to take a step back and really focus on right now. So if you give power back to those little moments, if you allow yourself when you're walking to your car to really feel the experience of walking to your car, to pay attention to the sky and the plants and the way it feels when your feet touch the ground, or when you're grocery shopping, paying attention to the experience of grocery shopping instead of thinking about all the things you have to do when you get home, what you're making for dinner, what happened at work. It may sound like a simple adjustment, but those little adjustments throughout your day of paying attention to the little moments make a really big difference in terms of living a life that feels good. Because instead of seeking only these really intensely amazing, exciting experiences, you're finding that excitement and joy in the little things and life becomes a more balanced experience with your emotions and it becomes a more balanced experience in general. One that you find joy in even just breathing. <laughs> if you're thinking to yourself, I'm so busy, I don't have any time to take time with things. If you have a really good schedule built around your day, and I'm a big schedule person. I love having a list and following it, but it's I haven't always been. I grew to be this way because I found that when I have a schedule for my day, when I have a list of things that I need to get done, it is so helpful for me because I can better keep track of my time. So when I'm doing something, when I'm going for a walk, when I'm taking a break, I'm able to give it my full attention because I know that when I get back, I have everything laid out that I have to do and I don't have to stress about it throughout my walk. Just like if you're cooking a meal, if you give yourself the proper amount of time to do it, you don't have to stress while you're doing it about the things that you're going to do after. So there's two things that come into play when giving yourself time with things is the physical aspect of being able to schedule yourself the proper amount of time to do things and being on top of it in a very left-brained way. But there's also the mental aspect of it, of being able to take a step back, give yourself a mental break, and really just relax into the way that you're feeling. Throughout this video, I've talked a lot about giving yourself mental space, giving yourself breaks, and allowing yourself to be present in every moment. And if you're looking at that concept from afar and it's something that you haven't fully experienced in your life, it may seem really daunting and you might be like, I have no idea what that means. You make it seem so easy, but it's not easy. And you're right, it's not easy at first, it's a practice. But I wanted to share with you how you can kind of integrate it into your life, integrate the space, the presence into your life in a way that feels really good. And the more that you practice it, the easier it becomes and the more ingrained it becomes in who you are. It starts with the simple act of meditation. And I've talked to a lot of people about meditation and a lot of people tell me the same thing, that they can't do it or they really want to do it, but it's hard to motivate themselves to do it. And I think the thing that's really important when it comes to meditation is taking the pressure off of it. We like to think that it's like you sit down and it's this really focused environment and it's something that you have to set aside time for every day. And like in our society, it's become this thing very similar to like exercise where a lot of people know they should do it, but they don't do it. But meditation is really 
simple. It's basically just sitting down and experiencing life around you and sitting down, closing your eyes and letting your thoughts be quiet for once throughout your day. And there's no right way to do it. There's no pressure. So take the pressure off of it and every once in a while in your day, in your week, set time aside to just sit there and be. And it's as simple as that. And you'll find that when you give yourself the proper time to take a step back and to do nothing, things will feel a lot easier in your life. You will have a better time doing things. The stress will kind of like melt away. You'll feel calmer. Just being aware of your life and taking your center of awareness out of your head and into your body, into your soul, it balances you in a way that feels really good. And so if you want to feel like you're always on vacation, if you want to feel light and free and happy, it's a practice. Don't get me wrong. It's it's something that I'm practicing and I'm learning how to integrate into my life. But the awesome thing about practice is that you do get better at it as time goes by and it becomes easier and new challenges will arise, but they feel so much easier when you have the grounded center within you. So I'd recommend just seeking a life that makes you feel good and finding that joy and that peace within you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you're doing well and taking care of yourself. And I hope that you are learning to enjoy your life because beyond our society and all the things we're supposed to do, your life is meant to be light and free and happy. And you get one life in this body. So learn how to enjoy it in the deepest and fullest way that you can. Thank you for listening. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day today.